let's break down the situation like that you had like with Rich Kid, you signed the QC, you know what I'm saying? Break down all your situations, like from start to now. Okay, cool. So the Rich Kid, I became Rich Kid just by being popular and fly. Mm -hmm. I ain't know none of them personally except Char, baby Char. And I knew Schooly from Landry on. I told you when you're on Session 8, you gotta move everywhere. Mm -hmm. It was on Camerton. I went to L.O. Camerton and it felt great. <laughs> that, that's how I, that, that what made that nigga be so popular, having to move so much. They like, they know your bill, they know your bill, they know your bill. Mm. But to back to the question, Rick Kid come about, shit, we had a football game at Lakewood Amphitheater. You know, that's in zone three. I'm from zone three. I'm a, I was going to what? I was going to all the popping high school games there, whether I go to that school or not. I just, like, even in your all generation, y'all know what, mm -hmm. what game finna be mm -hmm. popping, whether mm -hmm. you go to this school or not. Mm -hmm. So I go to a dub versus um, Washington game, which was a, they was a rival. Shit gonna be lit. I don't know how they are now, but back when I was in high school, Liddy, I'm talking about both sides sold out. They got to close the gates. Boom. Um, all the rich kids that so Charles introduced me to uh Caleb, I mean Caleb and I mean Rashad that same night. Met them that night. Boom. So once they told me that Rashad was T.I. cousin, I'm a nigga that I come from working my move and game. <laughs> so, you know, right now they can yeah. say they somebody cousin and they'll be like, okay. <laughs> yeah. But back then, you somebody cousin? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, this is the closest shot we got. This is yeah. before Instagram, yeah. Twitter, any of that. Yeah, yeah. I know social media. Yeah. We don't know. You can't really see these folk unless you see these folk. Yeah. So, hey, man, when they told me he was your cousin, I had never read a rap before. I rap probably once or twice fucking around on just the phone. They told me, cuz, I'm like, shit, I'm still hanging with folk. <laughs> like, not even on no trying to no, use no, them, nigga, like, the cuz we definitely built a relationship, and it was event, and, it, and it's our brothership is real. But I was like, man, this is the way if a nigga gonna try to go. Mm -hmm. So, boom, make a long story short, they, I'm in the group. I'm in the group, we do the risky ass shit, the split go about, cuz, the split go about. And I, um, how I met a lot of the rappers after I left the rich kid was, niggas used to be serving. I used one reef. So I used to be serving shit like that. So I'm serving, I'm serving straw, I'm serving portal, some weed. It's a long time ago, statute of limitation, and we ain't worried about that. Serving some weed. He like, shit, where the hell you finna go? Cause you know, Rick Kid and Trap Porter, we was out at the same time. Mm -hmm. So boom, when I go solo, they still know where I am, type shit, you know what I mean? He got my number to even call me. They get the studio, he like, shit, you ain't gotta leave you, you can stay up there. I said, woo. So I stay out there kicking, I ain't got nowhere else to go, so I stay out there kicking, the boom. Like I just was telling you about my work ethic, I can't be in the studio. I don't know how to just be in the studio and just be looking around on the phone. Hey, man, we got an engineer right here. I got beats in my email. <laughs> man, I'm like, they here, man. We sat around for a little minute. I'm like, man, man let's do one. And the engineer, was, he was an intern at, at the time, but when I tell y'all who the engineer was, we're going to fuck y'all a little inner world. It was FKI first. Mm-hmm. I remember that. He was, the, he was the intern. So I rapped on his first beat he ever made because when I, I started talking to him, like, oh, what's this? Ooh. He was like, he make beats. She's like, ooh. So I'm like, okay, he make beat. Hey, the group, I rock, they rock. I'm like, shit, you might well make a beat for her to do right now. Like, you know, I'm outspoken, you know what I'm saying? Like, in a player way, though. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like. Not well, like, man, what the hell are you doing? Nah, let go. Yeah, like, nah, I'm on yeah. shit, like, hey, man. Like, I'm on some player shit when I said, so they were with it. We do it. That song called Sideways. That was the first song that I made with somebody outside of Rich Kids, me being Jose Guapo. So we made that song, and we started, like, just, I started, you know, continue doing things that I was doing for them and stuff. And we grew a relationship, so now I'm, Y'all the bros. And one thing I can say about them, them niggas some real niggas. They ain't never did no such shit. 
ever. Now we just have to ask for it. I never did no such shit ever. So boom, once I started being around so much, it was just like they would give a nigga them opportunities to come on the road with them, open up, ooh, 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 shit like that. Oh damn, I can't skip. When I got rich kids, I would withdraw for a second. Yeah. I would withdraw for a second. I can't leave him but the one. I, yeah. Joe know I love him. Yeah. But even he'll tell you, like, he wasn't really that serious about his career at the yeah. time. So, yeah. it was like, once I started catching on to, to I ain't really doing too much right here, I just left the situation. Because I was never, never on no paperwork with him. Yeah, just, no, you know, I just rocking. You know, yeah. I know him from Summer yeah. Hill, yeah, yeah. Magruder, <laughs> Cheeseburger. Yeah. So, we just rocking. So, when I left that situation, that's when I started fucking with brother. And then she, I been around them so much, they going to the show, they let a nigga push up to the studio, shit, they let a nigga record at the studio, all this old shit here, they keeping it so on honor. A nigga end up getting a situation with, um, a management situation with Street Ex. Cause that's who they were managed by. So they, a nigga end up getting that situation, then we made that Guapani record. So now, like, it just lit with me and Trey Porter. So mm -hmm. we had that wave going, we had that wave going. From that zone three to that east side connect, that zone six connect, that deeper decatur all that connect. So after that, it wasn't nothing Travis Porter did because I never was signed to Travis Porter. Mm -hmm. Just street of it. Mm -hmm. I just go back to when I was taking things personal. My two chains came out with the Crinet song. Mm -hmm. I'm like, we got the same management. I be around you. Hold up, what happened? You, you know said, what happened. You said what happened. Hold you know up, you just happened. said my tit. Yeah, you know yeah, what happened. You said he came out with a Crenet song. We came out with a Crenet song. Yeah. You took I'm that young. person. I'm young. I'm young. I'm probably 19, 20. That shit went up, too. Hey, man, nigga ain't never took nothing from me. Bank. Nigga ain't never went in my pocket. Nigga ain't never took a hat off my head. Nigga ain't never. So I'm in that. When I go back to the hood and shit, oh, you, you know what I'm saying? Nigga dealing with them jokes, they crazy. You know that, you know that don't really matter. Nigga ain't really <laughs> yeah. taking heat and shit, but nigga hearing it. Nigga charge shit. your ass oh, up. Oh, yeah, nigga took some nigga. Nigga, <laughs> uh, nigga, nigga tearing me up. Man. <laughs> so I'm tearing them back up with, without no anger or aggressive yeah. type shit. It's just fun shit, but it like, when that happened, I, I really. I was just in the mindset, well, I ain't had no understanding of how that can happen. And then it was like, shit, I was looking for like a alley hoop. My like, same management, I be with you, be around you, pretty sure something gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Good in this situation. Like, cause I was even when, when, when I heard it, I heard like 30 seconds of the song before the concert him and Nicky had at the Fox Theater. I got 30 seconds of the song, I immediately get on Twitter. Oh, but it's over with. Got two chains speaking in Guapanese on the album. I'm, like, I'm rhyming for it. Yeah. But yeah. it was like when I. That was the way though. Yeah, so it's like, I'm room with it because I was really with everybody. No, like, I was with Chain. Like, Chain was trying to sign me at the time. Like, so when that shit happened, it was like, I took that shit personal and shit like, damn, like, when the shit, when I'm looking forward to the. Breath of Club, because they back then want no podcast, and then now Breath of Club probably like the biggest music platform if you go to a Breath of Club interview. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking for a little alley hoop in the Breath of Club interview, a uh, remix, a video. So you saying it's like a shout out? Yeah, just any type of acknowledgement. Yeah. Oh, so you saying, you saying, basically you feel like Tit just say, he just took it. Like, hey, man. Like, bro, you ain't, this did me. I ain't, I wasn't even saying it was me. I got this going on. I'm saying right he now. he he came out with it. You saying you would have respected it more if he would have been like, they guap shit. Yeah, like and like he would call me his nephew. Yeah. Like cause he know my like his granddad, like, 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 let's go back to deep in the rap shit. Like, like his mama went, like, she done hugged me, kissed me on the forehead. So But niggas in Atlanta been kind of talking like that. You just put a name. Yeah, to so it. I just put a I'm name. I'm just keeping it real though. I know yeah, that. Like, that's, that's the truth. What, like, and you can go check the old interviews and everything. I never said I came up with that way of talking. Yeah, it, that's what you know, it's like you just I put a name I on said, the well, I capitalized, put a name on it, and I got it back popping at this moment that it's just like how tip. In fact, 
categorize and generalize trap music. Exactly. Like niggas been trapping, niggas been doing such and such. That's it. But he was the one that put a focus on it. That's it. So it was like, I, I can, and this shit popping to uh, you done heard the song before. It's on radio, Grand Street, all these folk, hot one of on there. I wanted to do a radio interview, all those type of shit. It's, it's even before it was a street, 94.5 type shit. So I know for a fact that you know I got this record out because I'm getting booked for shows, all this shit. It's up. Why well, believe it's up? Yeah. Type shit. And once again, we got the same management. We go pick our checks up from the same office bill. So you think a remedy would have. Oh, go, go ahead, ahead. Go ahead. You think a remedy would have been him putting you on that record or jumping on your record? Would that have remedied it? Fucking with me in any type of way because cause he was fucking with me. Yeah. And oh, so like, y'all fell out after that, though? Yeah. Like, for what? Y'all ain't never had no conversation one Yeah, on one? we don't had conversations. Like, we good now. Like, we yeah, no, I'm talking about then. I'm saying. Nah, like, like nigga, we don't want young shit. Nigga, want to talk. You then? Nah. I ain't want to talk. I was young and dumb. Yeah, yeah, okay. So it was on, like, you, because I know, like, cool just thinking about tit, knowing tit, I, he would have been with whatever you would have been with back then. I just, I just. So just look, this is what happened. Knowing. This is what happened. A couple things took place to where he was still showing that he fucked with me. Like, I told you. He had an in-store signing for that album at the, at the Adidas store. Cause I think he had, you know, getting an Adidas deal or something like that. He get me all the Jeremy Scott's I want. Shit like that. Boom. I go to the band and make a dance video shoot with them. Like, I was with T, like. After this, this after. This after. Okay, yeah. So, you know, I'm just waiting on the moment that you gonna do some real shit as far as whatever. It ain't nothing that I'm saying I'm exact looking for. It's just, I know something coming that in what span it gonna of work time, for me. Though? In what span of time though? Man, long enough. Not, not even on no young nigga shit, but long enough. Did you even bring to his attention the fact that you felt the way yeah. about what he when was I, doing? When I started feeling the way I did, but it wasn't, it wasn't the right way. That's what I'm saying. Like, you nigga still a man. Like, nigga so, so, like, so I can respect him yes. being on what he was being on that yeah. time because how I would come. Exactly. If I would came on the right, like, oh, man, come on, man, I need you to... Ooh, I'm coming you like... You say that's still from hearing all them jokes and shit. Yeah, I'm name. coming mm -hmm. like... Yeah. Lame man, nigga, I'm coming like that. So that's, a nigga ain't That's just like a nigga getting into it with a nigga and he go home and his bitch all in his ear, like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's and then right. when he see the nigga, he's snapping on him because of this bitch that was in his ear, not really because of the it's nigga. It's that, the internet, my personal self. Yeah. But knowing, like, bro, I ain't no lame, bro. Like, but you looking at it on some street shit instead of business. Instead of business. But. That go back to the business. I was saying, I was looking at it from the business side too, because we got the same management. So I'm like, why not kill two birds and one stone? You no, know I'm saying, but you said you want you you didn't you didn't bring it in a way that a nigga can receive it. Nah, when I nah, I ain't bring it to him. I ain't bring it to him. I, I brought it to management though, in a way that. But you already made me feel the way. So management can't nobody tell me to do right, shit. Right, right. You already done said what right. you done said. I respect so that. It's, it's shit dead. Bro. I respect that. I respect that. You know I respect saying? that. I respect that. And I and I and I was saying this shit on Twitter and everything. Like I I was going so crazy that I was trending that day in Atlanta. Like I was trending that day. So like, yeah. So that happened, and it made me just on shit to where like I right, if yeah. cause I was what the story I was sold. It's not what played out with the management situation. And I'm not knocking them like they're some bad, they're like they're bad management and that like that. It's just, it didn't work out with me and them. So I felt like when that can go on with that, I don't want them to be on the same management as better. Yeah. You know, so I'm telling them, drop me, let me go, whatever y'all got to do. Like, I ain't trying. Like, I, I know I'm finna still, I know, I know who I am. I know I'm still gonna go out here and make some shape mm -hmm. musically. So boom, after that, I, I'm so heated one night in the studio, taking taking Metro, pulling up on Metro. Shit, I, I'm so heated and got 12 niggas with me geeked out Molly. Man, Metro, I'm like, who session this is? He like, shit, mine. Like, I'm like, you wanna rap? <laughs> Like, what, what you making some beats or something? I'm like, no, I'm just session with we just cool and just doing it. So I'm so in with I'm in. Rolling, I'm rolling. I'm like, hey man, uh, 
play me some beats type shit. Like, but how, but how I'm talking is 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 coming off the wrong way. But Metro is my my friend, mm-hmm. friend. Mm-hmm. So he know I ain't trying to yeah. try him or nothing. Like he mm-hmm. know it. So I'm like, play me some beats. He go get his laptop, play me some beats. I'm so on while I'm on, I tell him, nah, play me the beats you play for Pluto. <laughs> Nigga just trim. Nigga just trim. I'm just keeping it real. Nigga just trim. All in this man says trim. <laughs> Telling him what to do. <laughs> so, boom, he go to another folder, he play me some beats I find. So I go through the beats, I find uh, the beat, a beat I like. It's a hard ass beat. I listen to that motherfucker probably like 10, 15 times. Shit, after I listened to it, I was like, shit. Who been record? Ain't nobody recording and then like what y'all just gonna see here? He was like shit. Oh, why I been recording? I was like shit. I'm ready to go in on this beat right now. So make a long story shorter. He was like, go ahead. Engineer came, he let me go in, he let me do it. On my way to the booth, Sunny Digital was the last person I had to pass to get actually in the booth. We had dark. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know. I got to pass him before I go into the booth. And while I'm passing him, he give, he saying a little shit like, boy, he like, Quack, man, you know you one of them, like, man, he like, you you going to make some shit, like, you one of them nigga that, man, you, know, you fire, like, you it, you you that, like, you a star, bro, like, you going to do rap shit with your hands. So I tell him, man, fuck the rap, man. Like, I tell him that, that's what I'm being on some asshole shit. Like, you, he trying to. You know what I'm saying? Inspired nigga. Yeah, I'm telling him, man. I'm just on the, so the bullshit. So I'm like, man, fuck the rock game, bro. So when I go in the booth, the engineer like, um, let me do your, uh, you know, you got to your voice, your, your mic checks and shit. So instead of re- a regular check, 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 or yo, 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 I'm mocking what I just said. He did something to do. So my mic check was... Fuck the rap gang, fuck the rap gang. That was my mic check. So when I do that, I end up like, that shit got a little ring to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Real shit. Yeah. I'm like, that shit got a little ring to it. So I make a whole song called Fuck the Rap Gang. And this no bullshit. Like, that song, I say that song is like one of the songs out of my career that, like, you know, a nigga been Emily and Dead. And they hit him with that, that little shocker shit. That what that song did for me after walking in. Yeah. Like, cause I wasn't getting booked like that no more. Like, all this shit was flowing down. Like, you know what I'm saying? So when I dropped that motherfucker, that motherfucker was like, it, I'm right back in book pattern. It's that. Like, it wasn't no diss song or nothing like that. Like, it was just how I was feeling. And everybody know, any rapper know, like, you're gonna make the best music when it's your real emotions mm-hmm. coming out. Mm-hmm. So when I make that song in some type of way, Pete ended up hearing that motherfucker. So he pulling up on me in a long way. That motherfucker being in the vet. He got that motherfucker being in the vet when he pulling up. So he getting that nigga like, hey man, that motherfucker right here so hard, right, man. What you doing? Woo, woo. He just pushing up on a nigga, letting a nigga know like, he didn't want a nigga to, um, you know, be no victim of the streets and shit like that. Like you talented, woo, like you, you, I think you, I not I think you know, I know like you, you can be something like, woo, mm-hmm. like and he, and he and he was standing on that, he was standing on that, pulling up on a nigga, woo, say keep out of there, nigga. Cause you try to sign me a long way before he even had me go. You pulling up on me a long way at the lobby, mm-hmm. the bathroom, real. You got to be, oh y'all know about the lobby, yeah. You know about the lobby too. So yeah. boom, they, he pushing up at the lobby, like, he saying we got the music, he saying we got the studio and the motherfucker, we working, you know what I mean? So he fucking with it. Make a long story short, he fucking with it so much, he like, yeah. He, he gave a nigga opportunity, no paperwork involved. He, just like this, he was like, man, hey, man, I just don't, I ain't want to see a nigga be a victim of the street type shit. 